Welcome to Good Mythical More. Listen, I know that you're upset. Costco replaced their churro with this newfangled cookie, and is it worth it? We're gonna decide for ourselves, and also compare it to some other stuff that you can also get at Costco. Right, but first, uh, unfortunately, we gotta give our quarterly, quarterly report on our new business, Parkour for Seniors. <laughs> uh, well, um, <clears throat> It was a great idea, right? Get the seniors out there jumping yeah. around, uh, but they wanted to go straight to the rooftops. What's yeah. up with the, the seniors just always wanting to go for the gusto? Well, here's the thing. We're shifting. Building we're to doing. building jumping. This is what we're doing. We're shifting our strategy. We started the year as parkour for seniors, yeah. and now we're just gonna call it casts, braces, and coffins for seniors. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, and mostly coffins. Yeah. Actually, is what we're going to be doing. So it, basically, we're starting a funeral home. If you can get into that. Right. But we still, you can also do parkour. Right. We at actually the funeral. We actually home if want, you want. We want more right. people to do the parkour part. Of, right. Of a certain age. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's uh, they're incestuous businesses. Right. And the whole idea is right? that w during the wake. And that's the new name for it. During the wake where we've got the, the, the usually a closed casket, to be honest with you at this point. Yeah. Uh, but we send people around on the wake, but we've created a little bit of an obstacle course. So we've got a lot of oldies kind of just jumping over some things mm -hmm. and stuff and mm -hmm. kind of keeping it like in a sanctuary, keeping it low key and it's very carpeted. And they seem to only be getting mildly hurt. No one, well, right. one person has died. Right. And then we just did a double funeral because of the opportunity right, and the right. cost effectiveness of that. So we're we're uh, so things are looking up. We're is what creating we're some synergy. Could I interest you in a sample, um, sir? Would you like some trail mix or maybe a chip? Salty chip, please. You like a salty chip? Here's a nice foldy for you. Oh, foldy. All right, that's the only sample you get today. It's implied. Come, you get a sample. That's it. You're not going to show up again later, are you? Maybe. Okay. These are the cookie. cookies, right? They are huge. We got enough to feed the whole crew. We're gonna break for lunch after this. Everybody gets a little piece of this cookie or or the other things we're gonna compare it to. Grab, grab your own. Oh, it is hot. They serve them hot. They charge you 250. Of course people are complaining about this because the they replace the churro. Only. only <laughs> The churro only costs a dollar fifty. I mean, it's a big cookie; you can barely handle it. Yeah, it's huge. Um, it it says on their sign, "Double chocolate chunk cookie served warm, all butter, bittersweet and semi sweet chocolate." I don't know what all butter all means. All butter. It there's looks some, like there's it other things like inside. Yeah, but no, it's all butter. The best part's the middle, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the best shot it's got by going straight for that. It's a good cookie. It's a solid cookie. A lot of chocolate. Most people would be excited about that, <laughs> including me. When he says it like that, he means he doesn't like that. I don't... Like chocolate in your cookies. I don't think that there's anything amazing about it. Um... I'm not much of a cookie guy. Like I don't typically order a cookie as a dessert, but I'm usually eat cookies if they're handed to me by strangers. Well, could I interest you in a in a piece of uh, flat? Uh, what is that? A cracker? Why would I want a sample of that? You want a cracker? What uh, about what about some some I'll, juice? I would like some juice, please. Would you like to try some of this? Is a special Costco blend of orange juice. Orange juice, pineapple juice, mango juice, and LA River water. I believe it was just orange juice, but it was quite nice. Oh yeah, let me try that. Uh, that's a good cookie. I haven't had the churro, so I can't comment on it. But I feel like, Blink, you're somewhat disqualified I, because you don't like chocolate in your chocolate chip no, cookies. No, I like a chocolate chip cookie, and I, I don't put words in my mouth. I never said that. Well, you said, but the ratio of chocolate chips to the cookie. But you said is you a factor. But you don't like cookie dough that's got chocolate chips in it. And that you know what cookies are made of? That's the best way to do it in my mind. But it, it I like a chocolate chip cookie. But this one is real heavy on the chocolate I chip. I think it's packed with chocolate. You're gonna pay two fifty. You better get, and it's called double chocolate chunk. You better be getting some chocolate. I mean, it's two fifty is cheap, but 
The hot dog and the soda combination is only $1.50. Right, which is this. But People we're gonna- love that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna compare it to, if you were to just go into the bakery section of the Costco, Okay. And just get, oh. I'll turn that over now. A chocolate chip cookie, or an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, or a macadamia nut cookie. I'll, I'll go for the chocolate chip. I wanna do apples to apples here. Speaking of that, can I have some apple juice? Oh yeah, yeah, would you like to sample our apple juice? Yes. There you go. And can I interest you in our amazing egg roll piece? Oh, that was nice. Want some egg roll? I, eventually, I'll come back around. Let's go to the cookie. So it's not hot. Much softer. A warm cookie's nice. But I like the taste of this cookie better. It tastes much more manufactured and as if it was coming from a package. But doesn't it taste better? No, but it tastes <laughs> more like a Chips Ahoy uh, soft batch or a soft batch which again, you, that's what you like. Mm -hmm. You like that thing that tastes like it came from a machine when it comes to a cookie. This is a better cookie, man. Is but, it a better cookie? Let me try again. There's, not a, there's no contest. This tastes like Mrs. Fields had a field day. That's okay. a great cookie. Spork says that you can make it better by putting salt on it. So if you think it's better, is it even better with salt? And this is a special salt. Like a flaky. This is a Walden salt. Malden salt. Malden salt. What's a Malden salt? I like it. It's like a, a flakier, large salt that you usually use for baking, but I've been using it for everything. Mm hmm. You've been using it? I've been using it. It's a gourmet sea I put salt it harvested little, in, in my, the English in my town of pinch, Malden, Essex. Pinch pot, little pin, pincher, salt pinch. You got pinch. a little pinch. Mm. Little you pinch, take a little pinch. Take a little pinch. Could I interest you in uh, a cheese sample? I'm getting a little full, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, well, it's here if you want it. I'm it's good to know that they're amazing. there. When's the last time I've been to Costco? Um, we have. A, I, we don't have a family membership. We have a membership as a corporation. Don't we still? I, I I get intimidated by it. I like a place with samples, but the racks, I don't know. It's just very, it, everything looms. It intimidates me. You intimidated by a big rack? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Davey. <laughs> well, I tried to get, make this pretty, but. If they, when they loom over me, yeah. It's, it's, we're, we, they gave us the dredges of the mustard, and so I can't get pretty with it, so sorry. That's, uh, I'm not gonna take the blame on that. Can you just concentrate it on the end? So we're gonna compare eating a hot dog and a soft drink to eating a cookie. Yeah, well, yeah we are. That's, that's who we are. Look, it's a sesame seed bun at the Costco. Did you know that? A dollar fifty for a hot dog and people a- People swear by these. I'm gonna take the mustard that you put down here, and I'm gonna put it down here. People love these hot dogs. I'm gonna, I'm Would you gonna, like some Malden salt on your hot dog? I don't think I do, no. I'm a savory man. That's a decent hot dog. That's a good hot dog. For a dollar fifty? And you get the drink? That's kind of crazy. The issue with the Costco is that I don't have like we already end up with a problem of like disorganization in our like cabinets and closets and stuff. Yeah. And you don't, yeah. If we get more than like two things of paper towels, we start running into problems. Like we 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 have a spot under the stairs which we thought at one point was going to be like a little place for the kids to play, then the kids grew up. <laughs> And then we were like, oh, this is a perfect place for the dogs to have their, have a little space. And then that never worked. They don't go in there. No, it's just toilet paper and paper towels. It's, oh, it's like a little Costco. It's our little Costco. And we've mm -hmm. got, and there's no more room at the end. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I just want to say that I do love a big rack. But go ahead. Um, great. I'm glad you're on record for that. 
I just wanted, I, I felt like, I felt like there was a hanging chad, so to speak, and I just needed to go back and, I just wanted to, I just wanted to really be on the record. But keep going. Um, anyway, I'm just saying I don't have room. It's not a lot of room under there. I don't mind, I don't mind the big rack, you know, of Costco. I like big racks and small racks, I have really. A, I have a big cabinet of overflow stuff in the garage. Oh, and you got a Costco in the garage. Yep, it's more than what you got. Mm -hmm. Does anybody frequent Costco and do you have a place for all the stuff? First of all, if you do, um, go to Sport because uh, they can help you. They got their eye out for the best new Costco products, whatever's on their racks. If you just search Costco at sport.com, you can find rankings, grocery hauls, they can tell you what you should be getting. But that's why it's so big in like the Midwest and the South because everybody's house is so big. Everybody has space there. It's yeah, just we like just you don't got have... closets and that just got nothing in them. Rooms. You got rooms that are like, oh, what are we gonna do with this room? That doesn't happen turn it, out here. We could turn it into our own personal Costco. You know, in many states, you don't need a Costco membership to go in there and buy the bulk alcohol because it's a sort of loophole because you can't, something about memberships to buy alcohol, whatever. Really? Yeah. Because you can't force people to be a member of something to buy alcohol. Something like that. That's interesting. Uh -huh. You ever heard of fraternity? So you just get <laughs> you just get cases uh -huh. from there. Hmm. And what's yeah. the other one? Try the try the Sam's egg Club. Girl. Try that girl. You'll like it. Didn't Sam used to own Costco? What happened? I think it's owned by Walmart. Sam's Club. Yeah. But they're different, right? Mm. Yeah. Our egg rolls are not great. No. Yeah, that's why you sampled them, so you know not to buy them. That's not the taste <laughs> I want in my mouth right now. Yeah, that was not good at all. Now I gotta eat a hot dog again. I would recommend the hot dog, honestly, over the over the cookie. I would too. But the fact that they make it warm and it's still only 250. If you like a cookie, and you like a lot of chocolate in your cookie. Yeah, then you'll like this. Maybe bring a little bit of that salt with you. Bring a little salt pocket. The things that Reach I- into it. Here's what I keep on bulk at my house. I wanna know what y'all keep on bulk at your house. In bulk, I'm saying on bulk, but I should say in bulk. Um, I've gotten hooked on these, um, these waters called Topo Chico's, have you heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the first, I have cases of Topo Chico and I just, I pick up a case and I put it in the fridge and then when, and I open it and when that thing gets low, I put the next case in there. And then I, over there in my thing, I have like. Mm. You have a backup. I have backup cases. It's not easy to find, when you find it, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stack up. I also have, um, uh, these little cans of oat milk lattes, like iced oat milk lattes from, um, it's not Colombo. What's what's the brand name? It's like it's kind of like Colombo. Anyway, I have um, oat milk latte Kojak case uh, cans, and then if I want to get if I want to go to the next level, and I always have those. I never want to run out of those. That's like my weekend midday caffeine treat. Huh. Okay. And then if I go more, uh, La Colombe. Yep, that's the brand. After that, I've started to make sure that I have um, coconut waters. I like those individual coconut waters. So the things that you have in bulk and backup is all Drinks. All drinks. Nothing that's not a drink. Um, toilet paper. Okay. Uh, I would say paper towels, but that, that that's not good for the environment, so I'm not going to say it. You don't use paper towels at your house. Oh, no. You just use a wash rag. Right. Use Everything's water. wash rag. Of course, all the time. Um, so that that's the main thing, my beverages. And then if I'm going to get real fancy, I'm going to have like some Coke Zeros up in there. And when Lincoln lived in the house, he was more the Coke Zero. Coke Zero is fancy. I've always um, thought that. Guy, now it's more he, fancy than those individual lattes that you have, oatmeal lattes that you have, and coconut waters. I love, I love a ice cold coconut water on a hot day. So I'm just waiting for it to get hot again. 
so I can I can get back on my coconut water streak. <clears throat> Electrolytes. So have you sworn off Lacroix at this point? There's no Lacroix. Um, uh, I've sworn off. I swore off the Lacroix when my stomach started get. I started getting that like heartburn. But you like, still drink Topo Chico. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, once I cut down drastically on every other bubbly water. Oh, but you're you're just saying that's that my you, treat still every night. You were already doing that. But I would have had like three Lacroix during the day, and I don't do that anymore. I don't do that. I think I think it also gave me the farts. Remember? Oh, I remember. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's kind of fixed that. What do you keep on bulk, homie? Uh, I keep saying on bulk. I don't know. Drinks. It's like on fleek. LaCroix. LaCroix and diet caffeine-free Pepsi oh. is what Jesse likes. And I'm kind of like indifferent. Um, diet caffeine-free Pepsi? And I, I, I'll do diet caffeine-free. I don't do any, we don't have any caffeinated drinks in our house, except coffee. Ah, I'm hating so much, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to, okay. Free samples I'm gonna for go, everybody. I'm gonna go around the, the, the bullpen in a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't have any caffeinated. There's no Coke Zero. There's caffeine-free Diet Coke, and they don't make a caffeine-free Coke Zero. I don't think. Do they? They do. They make a caffeine-free Coke I'm Zero. Sure, they do. You know what they don't do? They don't make a caffeine-free Diet Dr Pepper. They do. <laughs> they do. Can we get them in Utah? In now I gotta Utah? go to Utah. I gotta get a Utah contact. Well, you can probably just order them on Amazon. Would you like to call the Utah Costco? Yeah, I would. <laughs> Is it going to be Jordan? No. I don't know what what do you keep about. on bulk, Stevie? Oh, the Utah Costco is the biggest one in the world. I'm sorry. You asked. You asked me what? What do you keep on bulk? I have such a small house. There's no room to put anything I anywhere. Bulk. I so really the answer is no. Um, How many band-aids yeah. you got? Yeah, I mean, Cassie goes through a lot of Band-Aids, I'll say. That's what I thought. Um, and then uh, sometimes the, like, Trader Joe's Chili Crunch. We eat a lot of, like, Chili Crunch in our house. <laughs> the and chili oil? Want, yeah. Oh. And you don't want to run out So you that. you got, like, a backup to that. Exactly. <laughs> There's a number of things that I have. I have that's, a backup to stuff my, is good. my kefir. Mm-hmm. Oh. Keep a backup. I keep mm-hmm. a backup to my kefir. Yeah, you got to have I, a backup kefir. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and my coffee beans. Yeah, you can't run out of coffee. Like, that could, that, that coffee really, people aren't turning on each other when you run out of coffee. Um, Flaxseed. <laughs> Got to stay regular. Flaxseed. Well, I mean, what else? You don't, I, I thought you would keep, you have a garage, man. You keep stuff in your garage. Uh, I keep, okay, all right. That's what I'm, looking, I'm imagining, I'm going in my memory palace that is my garage. Mm-hmm. Peanut oil. The things that I have in bulk, peanut oil, pickle juice, uh, because of when I, if I want to do a big thing of fried chicken sandwiches for a lot of you people. You gotta be ready. And so I actually have a fair amount of pickle juice and uh, peanut oil at the Creative House too, in one of those closets. Yeah, you do. Because I bought like eight of them each. At one and it's point. not in the garage. If we have a leak, it's gonna go into my office. It's not gonna leak. I mean, they could leak. Oh, they're not gonna leak. They're turned sideways. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, they're turned sideways? Yeah. I didn't do that. That's all you got, though? What about coconut water? What about that fridge out there? You got a garage fridge? Uh, there's coconut water in there sometimes, but it's not. we're not very disciplined about the coconut water, but that is a good thing to have on standby. It really, it really it, the electrolytes really hydrate you. Yeah, they do make you think of um, vacation. No, I mean, in terms of being toxic, mm-hmm. food challenges is like, go for it. You <laughs> yeah. know, if, if, if eating <laughs> hot sauce yeah. like, makes you feel better about your <laughs> just do it. That's right, and it does. 